In Retro Game of the Week, we dive into our game library and pick out a classic to see if it still holds up today. Let's grab a controller and play some Retro, Retro, Retro Games! Ho! Spyro the Dragon is one of those games we loved so much back when we were young. This little purple dragon stole our hearts when it first appeared on the PlayStation in 1998. The story of Spyro the Dragon was simple and fun. Nork has decided to turn all the dragons of the kingdom into crystal statues. Being the shortest dragon, Spyro is the only one to survive this vile plan. He instantly becomes the dragon's savior, with the mission to free his peers from their crystal prisons. What about Nasty Nork? I'm going after him. Find dragons first. That's all I can tell you. Spyro the Dragon consisted of several different homeworlds, which acted as a hub for reaching the actual levels. Each homeworld required you to collect a certain amount of items before you were able to travel to the next world. Oh, it's you! I wasn't sure if you'd escape those annoying little creatures. It was a good structure that gave you the freedom to play at your own pace. In a way, it was one of the first open-world games ever created. Spyro the Dragon might look old and dated now, but trust us when we say this game looked awesome at the time. The bright colors and great character designs were a feast for our eyes and the different worlds all had a very distinct feel to them, which was great. The gameplay of Spyro the Dragon is easy and very addictive. Spyro has several abilities, like breathing fire, charging enemies with his horns and gliding. Spyro could also travel to specific flying challenges. In these worlds, you were able to fly properly after an enchantment from fairies. Even today, Spyro the Dragon still easily stands up to modern games of the same genre. The game has lots of personality and charm, and the gameplay is lots of fun. It's just too bad that Spyro has become one of the many characters in the Skylander games. We would love to play a new Spyro 3D adventure on our modern systems. I feel fired up, Bob. And I'm happy for the Dragon World, of course. I certainly wouldn't want to spend the rest of my Dragon days butting heads with Nasty Nork and his weird minions. What's a minion? Uh, never mind. You know what they say. For every good battle, you need a good adversary. And I felt that Nasty, in spite of his misguided nature, was a worthy opponent. <laughs> Uh-oh. Here we go again! 